when you think of bourbon, do you immediately think of Kentucky? Yeah. Well, you might want to think again. Yeah, it's because a local <laughs> distillery prides itself in creating a quality whiskey that's not bound by geographical location. It's in this morning's Made in Mass. Under the shadows of the Tobin Bridge in Charlestown, you'll find a grain to glass distiller known as Chattermark. We make a rye whiskey, a bourbon whiskey, a white whiskey, and a gin that's actually from a whiskey base. John Sergini is the founder and CEO of this relatively new, hyper-local liquor producing venture. John, is this where the magic happens? Yes, we're entering our production floor now where we make of all of our products. Like all spirits, it starts with the grain. And for John, it's important to keep it local. We focus on New England terroir. This all comes from a family farm up in Maine. And you can't be a proper distillery without a huge handmade copper still from Germany. So what's happening right now? So we double pot distill all of our whiskeys. This is, would be the first of that double, which is called a stripping run. Producing as many as 400 barrels by the end of the year, you'd assume John was a whiskey man from way back. Well, not so much. The fact is this spirit entrepreneur is a one-time corporate lawyer and retired Air Force Colonel. As an air battle manager and commander of a ground radar control unit during multiple global deployments, leading and motivating a team to achieving goals and completing a mission are transferable skills. Start to finish, we mash here, we ferment here, we double pot distill our whiskeys here, we age it here, we bottle it here, so we can control that whole process in-house, which we think adds a certain level of value and quality. As far as the name Chattermark, that's a subtle nod to John's Air Force past. Chattermark itself is actually a NATO brevity code word that I've used in um, flying overseas. Uh, it means to change frequencies, but it's about overcoming adversity and being resilient. We take great pride in the craftsmanship of, of making whiskey, and the, using old world techniques and some modern technologies to make sure that we have a quality product that people can be proud of. Good luck. Thank you. It's tasty too. Chattermark's Charlestown Tasting Room is open Thursday through Sunday, and if you happen to pick up a bottle, there's a few hidden secrets. On the label, look for the names of John's two kids printed in Morse code. And then there's some lines, some folding lines on the label. It tells you how to turn the label into a paper airplane. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I mean, not cool. the traditional one, but it's yeah. kind of cool. And even on the barrels themselves, you may have noticed they were done in grease pencil. Uh -huh. That's the same technique he used when writing for the, on top of the radar for uh, his air time in the Air Force. Instead of printing, he took that and said, okay, I'll use the grease pencils. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I, w I was hoping we would have a little tasting here. I know yeah. it's only 5.23 in the morning. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs>